spelling analysis. Today we have some very interesting and big words. So listen carefully to say to spell. The first word is neighbor. She is my neighbor. Go ahead and say neighbor. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell nay bore. What will we say to spell? Nay bore. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is nay. N a. That's right, it's our new phonogram, A-I. The second syllable is bore, b or. Go ahead and write nay bore. Good sounding it out. Now help me to write it. Nay, n, a. Second syllable is bore, b or. And how will we mark it? Well, underline the a and the or. Now, why did the or sound like er and neighbor? You're right, O-R and A-R may say their schwa sounds er in an unstressed syllable. So it's just saying it's lazy sound. Now, do you notice something unusual about where we used the phonogram A-I? You're right, it's before a B. And usually these phonograms that end in G-H are used only at the end of the word or before the letter T. So this is an exception to that rule. However, in Middle English, nay was actually a word, and neighbor was a compound word. Now, we don't have the word nay anymore, or the word bore, so this becomes an exception in our current spelling rules to where we use the phonogram that ends in gh. The next word is against. I need to be careful to not lean against the fence. Against, go ahead and say against. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two, we will say to spell against. That's right, against. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is a, a. The second syllable is against, g, a, two letter a that you may not use at the end of English words. N, s, use a s, z, t, against. Sound it out as you write it. And help me to write it. The first syllable is A. The second syllable is against. G, A, N, S, T. Now, how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the A. And why did it say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. And we'll underline the A. Now let's read it. A, G, A, N, S, T. Against. Now you'll notice this is saying a schwa sound, and so is this. So any vowel may sound like a uh, or i in an unstressed syllable. Against. The next word is um, enormous. The elephant is enormous. Enormous. How many syllables are, go ahead and say enormous. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Very good, three. We will say to spell e nor mus. What will we say to spell? E nor mus. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is E. E. The second syllable is nor. N or. The third syllable is mus. M, a. Uh, use an ow, o, u, a, u, s. Go ahead and write E nor mus. Excellent. E nor mus. And help me to write it. The first syllable is E. The second syllable is nor, n, or. The third syllable is mus, m, a, s. And how do we mark it? We'll put a line over the e. Why did it say it's long sound? A, e, o, u usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. And we'll underline the or, and we'll underline the uh. What sound of ow, o, u, u, u do you hear? That's right, the fourth, uh. Let's read it. E, n, or, m, a, s enormous. All right, the next word is elephant. The elephant is enormous. Go ahead and say elephant. How many syllables in elephant? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three, we will say to spell L-E-fant. What will we say to spell? L-E-fant. Let's sound it out. L -e -l -e -l. E. Fant. Do you see this? Ah, 
Mm t. That's right. It's a two letter f. Go ahead and write L E fant. L E fant. Notice sounding it out is so important to writing big words. Help me to write it. The first syllable is L E O E fant. A n t. And how do we mark it? We'll put a line over the E. Why did it say it's a long sound? A, E, O, U usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. We'll underline the F. Let's read it. E, O, E, F, A, N, T, elephant. And you'll notice this is saying it's schwa sound or it's lazy sound. Any vowel may say a uh or I in an unstressed syllable. The next word is count. Can you count how many people will be coming to the class? Count. Go ahead and say count. Let's sound it out. K. Use a k. S. Ow. Use an ow. O. U. 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 N. T. Go ahead and write count. Sound it out as you write it. And help me to write it. K. Ow. N. T. And how do you mark it? You'll underline the ow. Let's read it. K. Ow. N. T. Count. The next word is speedometer. How fast does the speedometer say you are driving? Speedometer. Go ahead and say speedometer. How many syllables? Hmm, 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 hmm. Four. We will say to spell speedometer. What will we say to spell? Speedometer. One more time. Speed dom e ter let's sound it out spe sp whoops sp e use an e double e dom d a m e e ter t er use the er of her go ahead and write spe dom e ter spe dom e ter Sounding it out is absolutely key. Good writing it. Now help me to write it. Spee, sp, e, dom, d, a, m, e, t, er. How do we mark it? We'll underline the e. We'll put a line over the e. Why did it say it's long sound? A, e, o, u usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. And we'll underline the er. Let's read it. Sp e d a m e t er. Speedometer. Now notice this is saying speedometer. This is saying it's schwa sound. Now any vowel may say it's lazy sound, uh, or in an unstressed syllable. Do you see that this has the word speed? What does a speedometer measure? It measures your speed. And a meter means measure. Let's look at the next word, thermometer. Can you find the thermometer to see if she has a fever? Thermometer. Say thermometer with me. Thermometer. How many syllables in thermometer? Hmm, 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 hmm. Four. We will say to spell thur, mom, e, ter. What will we say to spell? Thur, mom, e, Ter. Let's sound it out. Thur. Th er, the er of her. Mom. M, a, m. E. Ter. T. Er, the er of her. Go ahead and write. Thur. Mom. E. Ter. Again, sound it out. That's the key. Thur. Mom. E. Ter. And help me to write it. Thur, th, er, mom, m, a, m, e, t, er. And how do we mark it? We'll underline the th and the er. We'll put a line over the e. Why did it say it's a long sound? A, e, o, u usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. And we'll underline the er. Let's read it. Th, er, m, a, m, e, t, er. Thermometer. Excellent. <laughs> the next word is thermos. 
I think I'll bring my thermos with some coffee to work. Thermos. Go ahead and say thermos. Let's sound it out. Uh, oh, how many syllables in thermos? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell thermos. What will we say to spell? Thermos. Let's sound it out. Thur. Th er. Use the er of her. Moss. M a s. Go ahead and write thur moss. Thur moss. Help me to write it. First syllable is thur. Th er. Second syllable is moss. M a s. How do we mark it? We'll underline the th in the er. Let's read it. Th er m a s thermos. All right, question for you. What do you notice is the same between thermometer and thermos? You're right, they both start with therm. What does a thermos do? It keeps your soup or your drink hot. It keeps in the heat. Therm means heat. What does a thermometer do? It measures how hot or how the heat or the temperature of someone. Therm means heat, meter means meter, or measure. A speedometer measures your speed. A thermometer measures your heat or your temperature. The next word is thermostat. The thermostat is set to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Thermostat. Go ahead and say thermostat. How many syllables in thermostat? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three, we will say to, say to spell thermostat. What will we say to spell? Thermostat. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is thir, th er, use the er of her. The second syllable is mo, m, o. The third syllable is stat, st, at. Go ahead and write thermostat. Thermostat. Now help me to write it. The first syllable is thir, th, er. Second syllable is mo, m, o. The third syllable is stat, s, t, a, t. And how do we mark it? We'll underline the th and the er. We'll put a line over the o. Why did the o say it's long sound? A, e, o, u usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. Let's read it. Er, m, o, st, at, thermostat. What does a thermostat do? Do you see the root therm? Well, it helps to keep the heat at the same temperature in your house or in your car. So when you set a thermostat, it keeps the heat, it regulates the heat. The next word is shore. Let's go down to the shore and sit by the lake. Shore. Go ahead and say shore. Let's sound it out. Sh, o, er, silent final e. Go ahead and write shore. And help me to write it. Sh, o, er, silent final e. All right, how will we mark it? We'll underline the sh, we'll put a line over the o because a, o, u said it's long sound. And we'll double underline the E. Why do we have a silent E in shore? The vowel said it's long sound because of the E. Let's read it. Sh, o, er, shore. The next word is dozen. I will buy a dozen um, donuts. Go ahead and say dozen. How many syllables in dozen? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell Dawes N. What will we say to spell? Dawes N. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is Dawes. D, A, Z. This only says Z. The second syllable is N. E, N. Go ahead and write Dawes, N. And help me to write it. The first syllable is Dawes. D, A, Z. The second syllable is N. E, N. Let's read it. D, A, Z, E, N. Dozen. The next word is improve. How can we improve the course? Improve. Go ahead and say improve. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two. 
We will say to spell improve. What will we say to spell? Improve. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is im. I, m. Second syllable is prove. P, er, u. Use an a, o, u. V. Silent finally. Go ahead and write improve. Im, prove. Good. And help me to write it. Im, I, m, prove. P, er, u, v. Silent finally. How do we mark it? What sound of a, o, u do you hear in improve? The broad sound. So we'll put two dots over it. And why do we have a silent e in improve? You're right. English words do not end in v or u, therefore add in e. Let's read it. I, m, p, r, u, v. Improve. Great. The next word is awe. I was in awe of the view. Aw. Go ahead and say aw. All right, let's sound it out. Aw. Two letter aw that you may use at the end of English words. Silent finally. Go ahead and write aw. <laughs> it's a short one. Help me to write it. Aw. Silent finally. How do we mark it? We'll underline the aw and we'll double underline the e. Why do we have a silent e in aw? You're right, to make it look bigger. If we didn't have a silent E, it'd be only two letters, and English words that are especially nouns and verbs like to be at least three letters. The next word is monkey. The monkey swung through the tree. Monkey, go ahead and say monkey. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm, two. We will say to spell mon key. What will we say to spell? Mon key. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is mon. M, mm, a, ah, n. Mm. The second syllable is ki. K. Use a tall k. E. Use an a, e. Go ahead and write mon, ki. Excellent. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is mon. M, mm, a, ah, n. Mm. The second syllable is ki. K. E. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the e. What sound of a, e do you hear in monkey? The second. So we'll put a two over it. And here, the o said a. Uh. Why? O may say a uh next to a w, t, h, m, n, or v. There it is. It's next to an m and an n. Let's read it. M, a, n, k, e. Monkey. The last word is assemble. The students will assemble in the gym for the program. Assemble. Go ahead and say assemble. How many syllables in assemble? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. We will say to spell ass, sem, bull. What will we say to spell? Ass, sem, bull. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is ass. Ass. Use a s. -z. The second syllable is sem. S. Use a s. -z. E. M. The third syllable is bull. B. U. Silent finally. Go ahead and write ass sem bull. Sounding it out as you write it. And help me to write it. The first syllable is ass, ass. Second syllable is sem, s, e, m. Third syllable is bull, b, o. Silent final e. Why do we have a silent final e in assemble? You're right. Every syllable must have a vowel. Let's read it. As-e-m-b-o. Assemble. And notice this said it schwa sound, a. Uh. Why? Any vowel may say a uh or i in an unstressed syllable. Great work today, everyone. These are some really big words. I hope they're making sense to you. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at essentials.logicofenglish.com.